Hi everyone and once again welcome to Hobby World. In my last episode I started preparing my slot car racing room for summer. And during summertime we are going to be racing a lot of slot cars in here. So it needs to look good and there's a lot to do in here. First of all of the cleaning and secondly all of the upgrading. And uh, last time in the last video I did some of the cleaning. For example I got this track up, cleaned up, uh, all kinds of mess had on some mysteriously magical way assembled on the surface of this large flat area during winter time and uh, I got off that removed so now I'm ready to start making the scenery and landscape for this track. I also got the HK Apocalypse track that's standing right over there reconnected so we can start racing on that again. So that was pretty good. That was all slot car related but I need to do some upgrades on the room too, so it's not only about cleaning it up. And one of those upgrades is that I need some display cabinets in here. I have bought three of these steel shelves from uh, our hardware store. They are fairly cheap. And um, then I have wired some plexiglass I'm going to mount in the front and on the sides. And I've got a sheet of wood that will be painted black. and. Uh, mount it on the back side of it and then when all of this is assembled I'm going to put some light in the top so it can shine down on all of the stuff I choose to display in these. And I'm going to make three of these and I have actually already cheated a bit and made two of them. So um, this is the final one and I'm probably just going to assemble it because there is something else I need to do before I can place all of these shelves and I'm just going to show you that now. Today we'll be looking at this area over here. I have already assembled two of these cabinets, so I have more or less an idea of how I'm going to do it. I'm also going to finish up the last one, but I haven't ordered the plexiglass for it yet, so um, that will have to come in later. But there is that small detail that's located right down there. You can see it in the background. That is a custom made riser. The riser is made so it uh, fits three cabinets. It helps me level everything even out even though the floor is uneven and it keeps the cabinets off the floor which makes them look much more displayish or whatever you call it. Uh, I think it's going to look incredible especially considering that if we take a look just going way down here and we take a look down at the area like this remove all of the mess there in the front and then imagine three cabinets plexiglass, lights coming down, trophies, slot cars and everything in them during evening where it's the main illumination of that area and then beside them we have a slot car track and we have a record collection over here with the caps on the wall. I think this is going to look incredible. So let's finish up this area and I'm just going to show you how in a series of pictures I made that riser down there behind. Just finished constructing the riser for my three uh, display cabinets in the racing room. This hole here is for the power socket that comes out through the wall. It will be hidden so no one will be able to see it and I can access the uh, connection from the front because I've made a small uh, lid that I can open up if I need to get inside and uh, do something with the power. The power is of course for the lights in the three glass cabinets so I might up end up drilling some holes in the top here so I can get some wires through that but um, I'll take a look at that later. Right now I need to paint this up and it will probably take around three days before this is dry enough so, uh, to install. So while this dries or when I've just finished painting this, I will go inside the racing room and I will paint up the uh, walls in there because I had some damages from water during winter that came down through the roof. So um, that will also take around three days to dry so that's actually perfect.
Well, I'm afraid this is as far as I'm going to get this time because I need an MDF sheet for the back side of that cabinet over there and I'll have to order that and I also need the uh, plexiglass for the front. So, unfortunately, I will not be able to do anything more with this part of the project so far. But anyways, it still looks pretty good and I have a small surprise because I got a package with the mail. I found a cheap slot car track on the internet, a digital track with a lot of cars and I got it really cheap but I haven't opened the box yet so let's uh, do an unboxing of that and see what I actually got. This is a rather large box and uh, I'm pretty excited to see what's in here. I ordered this box and it should contain a couple of slot car tracks, one digital and one analog and then a bunch of cars and I didn't pay very much for this so I was actually a bit worried that it was a scam but uh, I ended up receiving the package and uh, I'm pretty happy about that so far. So let's just open this up and see what's actually inside it and if I got completely cheated or if I actually made a good deal here. I, I got a lot of commercials I can see. We'll take a little bit afterwards. Just down on the floor to begin with. Oh, this is actually looking quite promising already. The first thing I just noticed was one of these. This is for a digital track, a lane change, and actually one more. So I'll have to say that just the two of these uh, actually made it worth it absolutely just for these so everything else is just a bonus this was a pretty good deal apparently i, I actually wasn't expecting those so um let's just see here a lot of a lot of tracks this is a scx i can see just getting every piece a lot of turns more turns even more turns Oh, luckily some of these a bit smaller, always nice to have. And control box for a digital track. One more. Apparently more of these smaller turns. Just love it. And a lot of the straights, standard straights. I'll definitely find a use for these. Even more. Even more. And turns, smaller tracks, there is actually quite a lot in here. It would obviously seem that I have made a really good deal. A couple of, there's definitely more than two slot car tracks in here because I found two digital controls and two uh, analog here. So a uh, couple of changeover lanes and turns. Just a bunch of tracks, then a lot of controllers, power supplies, and we have a car here in box and everything. A rear car, we have a Formula One car, the front wing's broken. That's very Formula One like. Have a box here with several cars. Damaged, damaged, there. Oh, this might be undamaged. Damaged, and another one damaged. So, three, four, six damaged cars in here, but definitely a lot of good spare parts if I need them. And there's even more here. Couple of analog cars, a completely, totally trashed Formula One car here. So, and more power supplies. Looked like they've been tampered a bit with that one, and a couple of controllers, and a controller more, and 
finally, the last thing in the box is this. Let's see if there's anything in this. Hopefully a couple of working cars, but I'll have to say, so far, I haven't been cheated in any way. This is a lot of good stuff here, but I am hoping for a couple of cars that's not uh, completely trashed. So, well, this one was stored kind of funny, but um, I'm not going to keep the box anyway. So, let's see here. Uh, we have a car, seems to be in working order. Another one, no apparent damages. And then more track pieces. A lot of track pieces here, actually. And even more uh, power connectors. So, all in all, that this is a lot of slot car material, a lot of cars and a lot of tracks. So, no bad deal at all, even though most of the cars was uh, pretty damaged and banged up. Then, um, this was definitely, I don't know, a great deal. Well, well, would you just take a look at this? This turned out really great. I have added the lights, installed lights and all of these uh, display cabinets. And uh, I think they look really amazing at the moment. Um, I ended up making three of them and they have kind of a, yeah, what do you call it, retro look. Uh, we have these metal frames behind the plexiglass, which actually suits this room really well, as this is a room for a slot car racing. So um, this kind of gives the impression of a workshop. And uh, I, I like it. I'm very happy with this result. I need to do a bit of uh, fixing up with the wires down there and connecting them under the um, riser I've built. But um, I am very happy with this result. So it was fairly easy to uh, build these, um, but it wasn't completely cheap as this uh, plexiglass here is, uh, is kind of expensive, uh, especially here in Denmark. But um, the lights are just simple LED strips. I used uh, a bit of wire and then I bought some uh, six millimeter MDF board for the uh, back plate over here and painted that black. That wasn't very expensive, so um, a bunch of nuts and bolts to attaching everything and um, then I uh, 3D printed these that are kind of finger screws so they are easy to um, connect and remove if you need to do that. You can just uh, turn these off and on. So when the front plate is going to be removed, you'll simply just turn those screws around and uh, you can uh, remove the front rearrange everything inside and then they reattach it pretty fairly easy so um hope you all like this i know i do and uh, thank you all for watching hope you um, enjoyed the uh, the project and uh, have a great day everyone to be honest i just wanted to do a short video here where i display my uh, just finished homemade display cabinet for all of my slot car related stuff Oh, that's not completely correct. Uh, this is basically for all of my racing related stuff. And uh, I think it turned out pretty awesome. We have uh, lights inside the cabinets. There are LED strips for each shelf and uh, it, it simply looks amazing in this light. So uh, I can't wait until it gets uh, completely dark outside so we can see how it actually looks. But uh, let's check this out. There's some Legos here. Still need to fill up the last shelf down there. More Lego, some slot car related stuff, trophies from the slot car races. And uh, yeah, this this is definitely an improvement of my, of my slot car. Really.